Hey, well, good afternoon. Buddy and I were in the shop. What are we doing in the shop? We are uh, <clears throat> fixing a seal here. So we got a uh, seal on this tandem. <clears throat> As you can see by the oil leaking out of there, the seal was gone. So I, uh, <clears throat> I went over to our, our shelf. I got to show you the shelf. So I was rifling through here all these assorted bearings and Timken bearings and all sorts of things. There's, uh, you know, like, there's stuff. No idea where that come from. No idea if we'll ever use it. But it makes it to the shelf. And I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure every farmer has a shelf like this. Like those. I don't know what those are for. Some sort of a hanger bearing. That's even... That bearing's even gone, so you see that doesn't even work. But it's on the it's on the shelf. Everything's on the shelf. A bunch of stuff that's wrecked is even on the shelf for some reason. A bunch of bags, a bunch of whatever that is. Uh, but over here, in fact, in this spot right here was a John Deere bag, and in that bag was this seal. So I did a quick Google of the uh, part number. You can't see it on here. Plus, I googled the part number on the uh, on the seal that I took out, and uh, yeah, they're the same. So right away, as long as you can get the numbers off of things, doesn't help to get the man or doesn't hurt to get the manufacturer of it also. Uh, and then they got the specs right on there: bore size, width, diameter, all this, all the sort of stuff. And even they had temperature ratings and all sorts of things on there. Very cool. So I was able to see that yeah, they are in fact. Almost identical. I think the one number was like a thousands out. Thousands, whatever. So pretty exciting. Shelves like this are very, very handy. They don't really look the tidiest, although that one is actually super clean. My dad cleans that, I don't know, monthly. He organizes it, uh, which is, I don't know why there's still wreck stuff on there, but you never know. You might, uh, you might need it. So I'm going to uh, see if I can smash this into there without wrecking it. I don't have very good luck with these, although he said there was a seal driver here. So maybe I'll get that and I'll try to put it in without wrecking it. And then... I gotta wash my hands. You wash your hands, buddy. I gotta find a seal driver because we only got one. I know there's not two over there. Oh, there's more seals in this. Oh no, those aren't seals. Maybe they are. Huh. Anyways, I'll find this and uh, we'll get after it. Well, as you can see, once I geared up my seal driver, uh, I got over here and I realized that this shaft is sticking out, so the seal driver won't work. But I ran the two hammer situation and I actually got that in there without damaging it. So I'm gonna find a little bit of uh, grease, lube up that rubber, stick that part back on. And then, Hopefully it won't leak again. You think that's gonna work there, buddy? Uh, yes. Do you think that seal's gonna work? What seal? The seal that we put in. Yes. Are these hard to get at? Yes. They are. You were right. I'm always right. When you're taking this apart next time. You took it apart. No, I get, if you're taking it apart again, call me because I like taking it apart. Buddy, I think the next time that needs to be taken apart, this guy's going to the scrapyard. Maybe Motozilla can eat him. Motozilla's in the scrapyard. Motozilla isn't even built yet. He's in the scrapyard? Yeah. He's all turned up in the you know what, buddy? What? You need to do less yakking and more wrenching or else you ain't getting paid. Maybe I should eat all the chocolates you brought too. You don't even know where they are. Oh. You tell me when you get that tight enough and then I'll, uh, I'll give it one extra one. How are you making out there, buddy? 
<laughs> I'm management. Well, that's not very good. Why don't, <laughs> why don't you just do them both and I'll drink my pop and watch? Does that sound like any of the chocolates? Uh, you don't know where they are. Hmm. Do you know where they are? I don't know where they are, buddy. I'm tightening this one really tight. Really tighten? You get that as tight as you can go. You're pretty strong. You'll probably get her anyways. Where are you going? Oh, you need to get up on the tire. Okay. Now it's much better. Now it's much better? Now you can't watch me. Oh, I'm watching you, all right. Ooh. You're doing a... Oh, ho, ho, ho. what now? That's the worst. I'm going to get that for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that always happens. As soon as you climb out of somewhere, then you drop your wrench. I know. It's a good thing I'm here to help you though. Yeah. And do the supervising. Do you think you might want to be a mechanic? When you grow no. up? No. What are you gonna be? I'm gonna be a wood toy maker. A wood toy maker? I'm gonna make like those nails that somebody made for you. Oh, the man. The you're gonna you're gonna whittle wood. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna make toys and glue stuff. Oh, okay. Stuff. And you can paint it if you want. Well, sure, I'll paint it. All right, buddy. You want me to get in there and give her a go or what? Yeah, do the hot one. All right, good job. Well, buddy and I, we got that seal done. And uh, actually now we're, uh, we're off to gymnastics. So it's it's cold. It's minus 22 or minus 23 or whatever. Been minus 23 all day. Let me get down one more cold night, minus 35, 36 or something like that. So I figured I may as well uh, take a rare trip to town. So we're just at the school here. Gonna pick up uh, little miss, and then we'll head off to uh, head off to gymnastics. So, as always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you all on the next one.